have one teacher, have 600 teachers. Which one is right? So, back in the day, you had one teacher and you followed them no matter where they were in the world. And I know I went to Mysore in India quite a few times to study back in the day when it was Patapi Joyce, things shifted, and I didn't stay with the same teacher. So I say, follow a teacher as long as they're still inspiring you because there is a big advantage of somebody that you practice with, that you know, that they get to know you. It changes the quality of the relationship and of your practice. This is not to say it's not worth exploring other teachers. I highly recommend you do. However, again, you don't need to try every yoga style on the planet. There are about six billion, I'm exaggerating, but it's okay to practice things that you feel can support what you're doing now. Learn, take workshops from people you don't know and see if you actually found somebody else that inspires you even more, change, follow your main teacher. But I do recommend that you have one or two, max three real teachers that you follow regularly and then maybe you take workshops with as many people as you can just to get further inspired. So do find a teacher, find a lineage, find something that you can follow, that you can be inspired by and continue the heritage, the lineage onward. Who do you follow?